it's just a nice go-to variation that you can throw in there and impress all your friends because obviously that's what this is all about. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Welcome to today's fiddle lesson video. Today we are going to be learning a tune called the Kesh Jig, which is a classic. I often say that tunes become classics for a reason. There must be something special about a tune that makes its way into so many people's repertoires. And this is a good standard to have on hand when you are playing at jam sessions or just jamming at home by yourself with your cat. Your cat's gonna love this tune, guaranteed, or your money back. I can't make guarantees like that, sorry. I, I do take that one back. I don't think cats generally are too fond of fiddles. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation we're gonna learn today, as well as a harmony and a chord chart, you can get those at the link in the description. You'll also get a bonus variation, which is the third variation I play in the intro to this video. Not to upsell you, but that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, without further ado, let's learn the tune. So first of all, let's figure out what key signature we're in so that we know where our left hand fingers are going to be. We are in the key of G major, so let's play a G major scale. I know fiddlers are not really into scales, but you know, it's kind of like eating your vegetables before you have your dessert. So here's your G major scale, starting with your open G. One, two, That's our key signature, and let's figure out our time signature. People often ask me the difference between jigs, reels, waltzes, etc. Often it has to do with the time signature and the tempo of the tune, how fast or slow you play it. The time signature for jigs is 6-8 time. That means your general groove is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you have a little bit of extra emphasis on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. jigs with a little bit of a dotted rhythm and I actually made a video about that if you want to check it out. It's called How to Make Jigs Sound Fiddly. That dotted rhythm is just going to give you a little extra time on the first note in each set of three. So that la da da la da da la da da la da da. All right, we've got our key signature, we've got our time signature. Let's go ahead and learn the tune. As always, I'm gonna be teaching this tune by call and response so you can learn it by ear. So I'll play a short phrase 
and I'll play it a few times. You can pause the video and try and play it back. I'll also put the sheet music up on the screen one of those times so that you can follow along. That sheet music will be color-coded by string, so notes on the E string will be pink, A string purple, D string green. As with many fiddle tunes, this one has an A part, which is the first half, and a B part, which is the second half. So let's start out with the A part. Here is the first phrase of the A part. It starts with your third finger on the D string, and it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers, three. 3A, 1A, A, 1, 3. One more time. The next phrase starts with your open E and it will go like this. 1, 2, ready, go. Finger numbers. E, 3, 3, low 2, 3, 3. is going to sound very familiar because it's the same as the first phrase of the A part. So let's review that one. It starts with your third finger on D and it'll go like this. One, two, ready, go. Finger numbers, three, three, A, one, part is a little deceptive. It starts out the same as the second phrase, but it ends a little differently. Starts with your open E and it goes like this. One, two, three, go. So that's E, three, three, low two, three, one, the whole entire A part. You have learned half the tune. Nice job. Let's play it twice through nice and slow, starting with that third finger on the D. One, two, ready, go. right into the B part, the second half of the tune. The first phrase of the B part starts with your first finger on the A string and it will go like this. One, two, ready, go. That's one A, one, three, one, three, E, low two, E, three, one, Next phrase starts again with your first finger on the A string and it will go like this. One, two, three, four. Finger numbers. One, A, one, three, one, three, A, one, The next phrase is almost exactly the same as the first phrase of the B part. Let's play it. So it starts with your first finger on the A string. Again. One, two, three, four. So just that last note is different. It's your third finger. So here are the finger numbers. One, A, one, three, one, three. Low two, E, three, one, three. And here 
here is the very end of the tune, which ends on the E string. We haven't spent much time up there yet. So we're gonna end literally on a high note. Starting with your low second finger on E, it's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's low two, one, low two, three, low two, three, and then four, low two, one, two. All right, that is the whole entire B part. Let's play it twice through, nice and slow. Starting with that first finger on the A string. One, two, three, Again. a little tricky just to reach all the way up there so you might get but something I think helps a lot is to strengthen your fourth finger by doing some exercises sometimes I'll just do a five note scale on that string so go so just to give that fourth finger a little practice you can also just go from the open string to the fourth finger, which is a little trickier. But it definitely helps. Okay, now let's play all the way through the tune with the metronome at a moderate speed. We're gonna set the metronome to 60, and we'll give it a shot. One, two, ready, go. you guys now is a great time to take a little break give yourself a pat on the back give your cat a little pat because you know I mean I have to say it's been pretty patient with us thus far and then we'll dive right into a variation on the tune so in our variation on the tune we're gonna do three different things we're gonna do some double stops right at the beginning of the tune we're gonna do a melodic variation and then we're gonna go an octave lower for the B part. Let's start right off with some double stops at the very beginning of the tune. Here's that first phrase of the tune with double stops. So all we're doing is on those long notes, we're gonna be playing the open string below the long note in the same bow. So our bow is gonna make a plane over the open G string and that third finger on the D. Then we're gonna play those next three notes. Then we're gonna make a plane over the D and the A. And then the next three notes. So it kinda of highlights those longer notes. Then we just play the normal tune. The next part is where the melodic variation is gonna come in. Here's what the melodic variation will sound like. 
melodic variation is going to take those longer notes and divide them into three eighth notes. So before we were playing a dotted quarter, now we're going to be playing three eighth notes. So that first long note is your third finger on D again, but we're going to make it into three D three, those three eighth notes. The next long note would be your open A. We're making that into three notes as well. A, D, A. So here's how that sounds. And then we play the normal tune to the end of the A part. All right, those are all of our variations for the A part. Let's do the B part. This is one of my favorite tricks of the trade. When possible, it's really fun to play at least one section of the tune down an octave. Here's what the B part is gonna sound like an octave lower. octaves, octaves are just a series of eight notes. So here's a one octave scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight notes. When we go down an octave, we're just playing the same melody, but eight notes lower. So going eight notes down from the first note of the B part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We find ourselves on the second finger on the G string. So that's where we're going to start our B part variation. It's going to go Two, one, two, D, two, D, one, three, one, D, two, one. Then we've got two, one, two, D, two, G, one, two, one, one, D, one. Then we've got two, one, two, down an octave. It's just a nice go-to variation that you can throw in there and impress all your friends because obviously that's what this is all about. All right, let's play through the entire variation with the metronome at 60. One, two, double stops. <laughs> Also, if you'd like a tutorial and sheet music and practice tracks for the third variation I play at the beginning of this video, that is available to my patrons on patreon.com at the link below. That variation has a few different ornaments that you can add to the B part, so in that tutorial I'll cover rolls, mordants, and sixteenth notes. So. 
check it out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in for today's video. I hope you had fun. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune and the variation you learned today, you can get them at the link in the description. Big shout out to my patrons on patreon.com. Love you guys. Thanks for helping me do what I do. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then you can see more videos from me on fiddling tips, tricks, techniques, and tunes. I did not mean to be that alliterative, but my dad was an English teacher, so it's genetic. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Happy fiddling, guys.